Okay, let's navigate to Unit 2, Lesson 7. Again, to navigate through the unit, you click this More button up here. And let's scroll down and find Lesson 7. Okay, here's Lesson 7. Okay, so I want you to read this. You need to read this to understand what the lesson is going to do. Okay, we're going to learn about Creative Commons, Copyright, intellectual property you also need to read this this is how to tag an image using the IMG tags okay you need file name and an image description okay read this page we will be using this for the rest of the semester <clears throat> okay so this is the first exercise level three images a dog vs. cat web page has been started for you. The dog image has already been added to the below web page. Use an image tag to add the cat.jpg image to the page below the cat heading. So first of all, I want to point out over here, we have some useful questions. If you have them, how do I add images? Click that. Why does an image tag not have a closing tag? That's a very good question. Okay. And what is an attribute? <coughs> So let's look at this. Okay, so there's a picture of a dog, and then there's cats, and there's no picture of a cat. So use an image tag to add the cat.jpg image to the page below the cat heading. Okay, so let's look at how the, the dog code is structured. Okay. Okay, so here's dog.jpg, so we can assume that cat.jpg is what they want us to reference in our image tag so let's look at the structure up here matter of fact let's just copy and paste this structure here so again we're gonna copy this <coughs> and let's paste it beneath cats but what do we have to change here okay obviously this SRC attribute is what we want to change we want to change that to cat.jpg if you read the previous page, you would know that. And look, this pops up, so I think we can just click that. Yes. And let's see. Okay, and let's change the description, the ALT attribute. Uh, cat. We'll just change it to cat. Cool. And after you have done that, you have done everything for this exercise, so let's move on. Okay. The details matter. The SRC attribute needs to point to the exact file name of the image you want to use. That means you need to pay attention to spelling, capitalization, and the file extension. Each of the three images on this page is broken because of an improper SRC attribute. Using the file menu for reference, this is the file menu, fix each of the image tags. Okay, so each image has a corresponding file, so we're going to reference those. Note, even though the images are not loading properly, our website is still showing descriptive text of what should be there because we used ALT attributes. Cool. Okay, so here red sky should pop up, green grass should pop up, blue trees should pop up. I would imagine that's blue trees, green grass, red sky. Okay. Oh, okay, so... The reason they're not showing up is because their SRC attributes are incorrect. So this should be red underscore sky. And look at that, pops up. Okay, what should this one be? Grass.jpg. Um, oh, okay. Remember, it says pay attention to spelling, capitalization, and the file extension. So I am guessing that the reason this one isn't showing is because JPG is capitalized here, but here it is not. So let's change that. Oh, and we could just click that. Let's see. Did it work? Yes. All right, so blue trees. Oh, here they just spelled blue incorrectly. See, it's B-L-U-E. Here it's B-L-U. So we add the E, and it pops up. Excellent. Wonderful. 
So we're done exercise four. We're going to move on to level five and do the exercises here. Uploading images. You can upload images that you found elsewhere using the add image button. Go find an image of a different type of pet that you like and download it to your computer using right click save as. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Once you have your images, click add image and upload the image from your computer into your project where you can then use it in your page. Okay, so let's upload an image. So saying to do it of a pet, let's look at hmm, turtle. Okay. This is a very cool picture, and it's small enough too. So if you look at the size, you might not want to get one that's too big. This looks like it might be a good size. Save image as. Okay, that's what you want to click. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to name it turtle.jpg. Okay, so it's saved here. This will be in my downloads folder. Let's go back here. Once you have your images, click add image. Okay, where's that button? That button's right here. The add image button. And what's the... Okay, upload file. Click upload file. So I recommend saving it to your desktop. And there's mine. Turtle.jpg. Double click that. It's right here. Okay, and I guess I just X out here, here now because turtle saved. And look at that. It automatically created a file, turtle.jpg. So, once you have your images, click Add Image. We did that. Okay, upload at least one image into this web page. We did that. Use the IMG tag to display the image in your website. So, okay, here's where it gets confusing. You need to go to your home page, which is index.html, and then reference the turtle.jpg picture that you just uploaded and it's going to show up beneath this page so let's follow the format that they have used already so dogs versus cats hmm well we're going to say dog versus cats versus turtles let's do that change this first so it makes sense because if you have a random picture of a turtle it would make sense dogs uh, let's steal this code and then we're just going to use it and change it around to turtles and we're going to change this to turtles and so this says cat.jpg we're going to do turtle.jpg all right, and no, it is not a cat, it is a turtle. All right, did it work? Yes, look at that turtle. Perfect. Okay, so we've done everything in exercise five. Now we want to move on. Okay, so the Creative Commons search. This is where we get into copyright and you don't want to steal the work of others or use the work of others without their permission. So when you go on Google, you're going to look for something like this, which is under tools, I believe. Usage rights. Yes. Yeah, so I click tools and then you can go over to usage rights and let's look at what they recommend in here. Labeled for non-commercial reuse. Boom. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the picture. Okay, these are all available for use. Okay, let's click this one. I like this one. Do we have to change it is the question. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I'll have to switch my picture to this picture, but we'll see. 
So let's go on. Briefly read over this, or else you won't know what to do for number seven and number eight. So giving credit. When using a Creative Commons licensed image, you need to give credit to the original creator. This is called attribution. There are lots of ways to provide attribution, but the easiest way is to add text below the image that identifies the creator and the website it came from. So let's read that again. The easiest way to add is uh, to give attribution is to add text below the image that identifies the creator and website it came from. Do this. In this page, we've already created added and attributed an image of a frog. Use the Creative Commons search engine to find another image of an amphibian. Add your found image to this page along with proper attribution, including the name of the creator, the website it was found on, and the license it was published under. Okay, so, okay, we're, all right, so I think I did do this right. After I toggled with the, oh, this is too large of an image, 4,000 by 2,000. Let's find a smaller one. Yeah, this should work. All right, cool. We're going to save image as hmm, Wikipedia Eastern Box Turtle. So I can reuse this, the license it was published under. Can I find that? Hmm. Let's see. Matt Reinbold. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't see a license, but we're going to use this and we're going to do the name of the creator, which is Matt Reinbold. So let's save this. And I'm going to name it Turtle 2. You know what? Eastern Box Turtle? No, that's too long. Turtle2.jpg. JPG. That's going to be on my desktop. All right. So again, we want to copy code that we've already found. Okay. You don't have to recreate code every single time. That'll get very time consuming. So this is an Eastern, what's it called? Eastern box turtle. Eastern box, box turtle. Uh, okay, uh, I forgot to add this image. So let's add the image, upload file, turtle to now it's added turtle2.jpg. I have to go back to index.html to find this. Okay. Turtle2.jpg. Perfect. Eastern box turtle. Okay, and it is. Uh, Matt Reinbold is the creator. I don't know what the license is, so I'm not going to include that, but it's from wikipedia.org. All right, so we have done this exercise. Now we're going to move on to eight. And let's see if the picture popped up too. Yeah, it did. Oh, wait, no, no. Yes, 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 it did. This is it. So why is it? I forgot to change something. Ah, uh, I messed up a little bit. Okay, let's see how we can do this. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so I switched them. Very interesting. I don't know how that happened. Eastern box turtle. That's what you got to be careful with when you copy and paste things. Got to make sure you're not switching things around. Okay, so the license is for the box turtle, so I'm going to put the box turtle up here. Connie Bush Frog is what I'm going to have to put down here. Connie Bush. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to make another video that will explain exercise eight.
I'm going to pause this here.